And with less than 50 days until the election, the fate of the Clinton Foundation is yet to be decided. CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy spoke earlier today with Foundation President Donna Shalala about what the future may hold. The Clinton Foundation would spin off most of its programs. Former University of Miami president and current Clinton Foundation president Donna Shalala describing what will happen if Hillary Clinton wins in November. We actually have laid out a strategy if Mrs. Clinton is elected uh, to spin off uh, each of the major programs. We'll keep a few. Uh, we'll keep uh, uh, some of our domestic health programs and we'll keep uh, one of our children's programs. Shalala says she's dismayed by calls for the foundation to immediately shut its doors. Shutting it down would be irresponsible. How could we cut off 11 million people who are receiving AIDS drugs or millions of people around the world that are participating in programs that are lifting them out of poverty? Shalala said Bill Clinton would come off the board. He will not raise money any longer. We won't take any money from any foreign governments or any foreigners, actually. Uh, we won't take any money from corporates, uh, corporations or uh, corporate foundations. So we need to slim down. Shalala, who still teaches a class once a week at the University of Miami, said she would stay with the foundation through the transition. We simply cannot cut people off and will not. And so the smooth, seamless transition, so the programs continue, but under other leadership uh, is the way to go. We have the strategies that will take place if she's elected. That's the only responsible thing to do. Now, Shalala's comments come today as the 12th annual Clinton Global Initiative gets underway with leaders from around the world convening in New York. Whether Hillary Clinton wins or not, this will be the last conference for the Clinton Global Initiative. Did she make any comparisons to the Trump Foundation? Yeah, you know, she didn't want to get into politics. She said she didn't want to go there. She just kept stressing that she believes the Clinton Foundation has been very transparent. You can draw from that what you will. Okay, Jim, thanks a lot.